Okay. So good afternoon, one and all. I am Dr. Venkat Ramana. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I am Professor Venkatraman, Department of Environmental Science, University of Mysore. So today, I am going to share my research experience and also my uh, experience in Environmental Science Department, particularly this water, air, and soil uh, pollution. Okay. In this regard, all of you know this how this uh, pollution nowadays impact on our uh, natural resources okay so as uh, urbanization and also industrialization and uh, lot of impact on our uh, land environment, water environment, and soil environment. So this, with respect to that, this air uh, pollution or uh, soil pollution and uh, water pollution. All of you know this, uh, how this Industries are industrial uh, effluents influencing the quality of air and uh, soil and also the water. Okay. So in this today, I am going to show you some important uh, case studies or the incidents happened in pre previous. Uh, uh, decade or previous time. So by telling us, then I will tell you what is the, the pollution, what are the categories of pollution, and what are the characteristics of these pollutants, and how these pollutants influencing the consequences, particularly the industrial pollution, uh, influencing the consequences in the natural resources. Okay. As you know, the urban population increasing every year, nearly about three to four percent. All village population is migrated to urban areas. The urban population when increases, we are uh, releasing or we are uh, releasing a lot of solid, liquid, and also gaseous pollutants into the environment. Okay. So then, you know, this every day, for example, in all metropolitan cities, in solid waste, generating 5,000 tons per year, per day, in Mysore, 500, 500 tons per, per day, Delhi 9,000 uh, tons per day. So this is all because of this urbanization. Like urbanization, we are giving more importance for economic development, for industrial, industrial development. Okay. So the industries or industrial development is one of the area. So which thinking about the economic uh, development of the country, so this industrial development, in turn, we are forgetting the industrial pollution control or the environmental aspects. So that leads a lot of problem to the our natural resources. Okay. So now this this concept is Taj trapezium case. Okay. All of you know this, the Taj Trapezium case. So this Taj Mahal. So see now, first I will tell you some some information about the incidents happened in the previous uh, decade, the previous uh, year or past. 
so based on that so after some cases or some incident or some uh, incidents happen so then i'll come to this uh, the pollution aspects okay so taj mahal is the king of emperor among the world wonder it is one of the most uh, priceless national monuments and also a glorious reputation to the men's achievement in architecture and uh, engineering so the chemical industries why this uh, taj mahal now is uh, in and around the chemical industries and the refineries at mathura are a major source to damage this taj mahal architecture of taj mahal outside of the the granite uh, marbles because this mathura area a number of industries which emits lot of sulfur dioxide came from the industry react with the moisture in the atmosphere and form the acid rain so sulfur dioxide with atmospheric humidity or water moisture so it forms h2so4 that that is called a, a acid rain so that is the major cause for the 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 marble deterioration deterioration of the marble structure so this will make corroding effect on clean white marble so the judgment vigorously applied the precautionary principle in may 1999 the central government constituted the taj trapezium pollution authority to take control of that sulfur dioxide emissions into the atmosphere and sulfur dioxide impact on in and around the taj mahal area that that is the judgment the next incident bhopal gas tragedy you know all of you so bhopal gas tragedy the world's worst industrial accident occurred in bhopal city madhya pradesh december 3 1984 so manufacture that is main uh, the carbomate pesticide uh, manufacturing industry so methyl isocyanate it is a intermediate compound for the manufacture of this carbonate so accidentally at the midnight of uh, december 1984 the methyl isocyanate leakage was takes place that uh, interacts with the water that forms a lot of uh, reactions and uh, smoke which uh, the reactor exploded due to the failure of this uh, cooling system the lower amount of this mic it affects the lung size cause irritation and higher amount uh, causes oxygen remove from the lungs and cause death so nearly 5000 persons were killed 65000 people were suffered from uh, eye and respiratory disorders and 1000 uh, people persons are uh, became blind and still it is uh, then another case, uh, the case uh, is arsenic pollution in the ground water so the excess use of lead and copper excessive use of lead and copper arsenic as a pesticide cause a toxic heavy metal arsenic pollution so by this the people who are ingesting the low doses uh, 10 to 14 years were affected uh, white and black spots on the skin and uh, long exposure leads to blood cancers then the the soft drink bottling unit okay so the the people who are ingesting uh, low doses for 10 to 14 years were affected by white and black uh, spots on the, in the skin and long exposure lead to the bladder and lung cancer and children are more badly affected by arsenic the soft drink bottling unit that is in uh, the coca cola bottling unit uh, in plachimada lakada district kerala discharged a large amount of uh, sludges so analysis of sludge contains uh, toxic metals cadmium and uh, lead will pollute the land and local water bodies so like mercury mercury waste so mercury is a toxic metal uh, is mainly is uh, using for this thermometer manufacturing company releases this very small amount of mercury 0.1 mg per kg it contained we fire the hindustan liver limited 
in kodai canal disposes there in mercury laden glass uh, glass waste into the nearby area and create a lot of uh, land pollution in the another the case is uh, river polar river pollution okay so the polar river uh, flows nearly about 330 uh, 350 kilometers through karnataka andhra pradesh and tamil nadu it supplies drinking water for uh, several village and town vellore well district in tamil nadu so it affects various uh, leather industries turn affecting the 40000 hectares of crop land so type of pollution from this uh, is the chromium calcium ammonium salts and organic dyes which are entering into the soil water and uh, air so then industries you know this textile and uh, dye industry so nearly around uh, 500 uh, dye units dyeing units 1990 195 bleaching units they consume large amount of water and processing and discharge the waste water so this makes the surface and the underground water not suitable for the domestic purposes and increase the ph value in that area the rivers get polluted due to the mixing of industry effluent from industries tamil nadu pollution control board has directed the textile and dyeing industries now not allow effluent to mix the river system okay then the effluent treatment plant in mri so this the madras refinery limited has taken the steps managing the effluents discharging efficiently so the mri has uh, two treatment plants designed to meet is 249 uh, is 2490 quality control standards so new plant for a treatment facilities consist of a cooling treatment Uh, treating uh, sewer and uh, merox water and treating floor wash and steam okay so the main pollutants from this the process uh, and utility steam oil grease hydrogen sulfide phenols and also the uh, general uh, purpose of steam water waste water the bold initiative for that uh, is the bold initiative on water management uh, taken by mrl mrl installed a non chromatic uh, type of treatment avoid chromium mixing and mrl also in install tertiary treatment so why i am i am telling this is there are some incidents happened because of this industrial industries and uh, mismanagement and also the, the controlling of this uh, pollution control boards may, uh, the, the not proper uh, because of the weather so that some incidents happened that i i will tell you then i will go to this uh, uh, the uh, the pollution aspects okay you know this uh, sukinda valley india so sukinda valley in orissa state okay in india contain 97% of indian chromate over deposits ore deposit used mainly to make uh, chrome plating and also stainless uh, steel so mining process uh, leave toxic uh, chromium exovalent uh, in surface and also ground water the soil a so residents suffer from gastrointestinal bleeding and also tuberculosis asthma infertility cases so what is the voluntary health association reported that 85% of deaths in mining areas and the nearby villages occur due to the chromate uh, chromate, uh, chromate mine related diseases so like the industry and also this marine uh, water area marine pollution so marine uh, environment or coastal environment facing the same type of uh, consequences same type of problems because of spilled oil because of breakage down the natural resulting uh, the oil and wax which seals bird uh, bird flow water ultimately those uh, lose their insulation uh, the start uh, shivering and also freeze death in water So nearly thirty thousand birds died Tory uh, Canyon incident. One fifty rare species of bald eagles died because of Exxon Valdez accident. Okay, so in Gulf War areas, so in Gulf War in Mexico oil spills, nearly twenty the incident happened in uh, April twenty two thousand ten. So deep water origin the offshore oil ring. the gulf of mexico exploded killing nearly 11 workers and uh, leading to the worst oil spill and environmental catastrophe in us history 
so that they put it under water uh, pipes steamed uh, uh, almost 5 million barrels of oil into the gulf over 3 months so threatening hundreds of miles of bridges and wetlands and estuaries so thousands of animals including turtles crabs fish birds fell with as a victim and the local fishing and uh, tourism industries uh, suffered badly because of this uh, incident gulf of mexico oil spill so gulf war took in uh, kuwait in 1991 between iraq and usa so during the war uh, they dropped lack of bombs and also forced the iraq army into the kuwait so highly near about seven oil wells in kuwait the most of well shores of the sea spread oil over sea covered by dl about 25 to 80 kilometers wide area so oil wells burned nearly for 10 months it released a lot of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere this incident uh, in 2019 1991 then effects the near about 100 uh, 1 million birds killed due to this uh, oil sick the oil sick in, in sea made the desalination of plants is ineffective in fact you know all of you this minamata episode or minamata epidemic 1953 that is uh, mainly on minamata small coastal village in japan that is uh, a chiso chemical company so which uh, produce a vinyl polymer so the industry released the effluent into the minamata sea the effluent contain mercury ion so it convert into methyl mercury is a toxic highly toxic which has number of uh, 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 sea plants and also transfer to the human to the food and uh, loss of vision and hearing and uh, as of muscular coordination as of severe headache and uh, this uh, mercury is a heavy metal which accumulated into the plant like species you know this uh, chernobyl disaster also so in chernobyl disaster we mainly in uh, uh, fukushima the plants uh, suffered major damage of because of the high magnitude 9 earthquake uh, magnitude of 9 the earthquake at, uh, and tsunami that hit japan on march 11 2011 okay the uh, the piping facilities in the building and facilities of the external power supply and back power or destroyed and uh, the next uh, day leakage of radioactive materials had been found in front of the uh, main gate and nuclear power plant okay so the stream was uh, filled with the uh, building by the core meltdown caused by the dysfunction of the cooling system so lots of radioactive material was scattered in the environment through vent uh, to reduce the internal uh, pressure and uh, hydroponic explosion of the nuclear reactors in in 1986 the meltdown of the nuclear reactor in russia has leaked out of the radioactive uh, and radioactive materials so affects nearly 2000 persons were killed in the accident and the people suffered due to the illness degeneration okay so this the the specific garbage patch Okay. The, the Pacific garbage patch is a semi-permanent floating uh, island of uh, uh, plastic trash. So circulated by the current uh, of the North Pacific Grey, which often deposits junk of island beaches. Okay. So large items like fishing nets can entangle and down sea animals and choke the seabirds, while smaller items eventually dissolve and so pollute in the marine uh, uh, food chain. so this this is the biggest uh, problem in the marine environment uh, because of this uh, entanglement uh, the number of marine uh, animals nowadays is uh, suffering a lot and also there are uh, uh, like a uh, fish out of the water they suffering a lot in, in that area then the pesticides uh, also one of the major uh, pesticide industries uh, 1962 scientist richel carson book a silent spring showed that uh, the pesticide was uh, uh, disseminating birds population and can found uh, in mammals milk and also the ddt is currently approved only in the special cases to control the insects borne disease but it is already banned uh, this uh, 
uh, uh, BBT. Now, see, this there are some incidents happened uh, that in the previous, so that I want to tell that uh, uh, so that the case studies are uh, the case, the incidents, the industries, locations, and the the uh, the problems faced in the previous uh, time. So now, so just I want to give you some information about uh, the uh, what is the pollution and industrial pollution categories of uh, uh, pollutants and how this uh, pollutants uh, impact on the environment. So previous, just I showed that the incidents in the happened earlier uh, uh, decade or uh, earlier uh, states. Okay. So the, now the pollution, any undesirable change in the physical, chemical, or biological characteristics of water, soil, or air that may harmfully affect the life or create a potential health hazards of living organism. Okay. So the pollution, any undesirable change in the physical, chemical, or biological characteristic of water, air, or soil that harmfully affect the life or create a potential hazard on health. Okay. The pollutants, the substance which is present in the environment in harmful concentration that contaminates the water, soil, air. So the pollutant is one which has higher concentration in the, in the environment. Okay. So this the concentration which contaminates the air, water, and adversely affects the environment, you call it as a, a pollutant. Pollutant is a, is a type of a chemical or it is a type of a gaseous gas or it is a semi-solid. So it leaves adverse impact on the environment or water or in the soil, you call it as a, a pollutant. Okay. So this pollutant, based on degradation, based on uh, the origin or based on the existence, Okay. based on origin or based on uh, uh, degradation or based on the existence, it has uh, uh, some divisions. Okay. So on the basis of degradation, the pollutants are divided into two categories. One is biodegradable pollutants and non-biodegradable pollutants. Okay. So biodegradable pollutants, which can degrade it by biological process or by microbial actions, that can own as biodegradable pollutants. So biodegradable pollutants can degrade it in a shorter duration with the help of these microorganisms or with the help of any biological agent or with the help of any microorganisms. So that, that is categorized as a, a bio, biodegradable pollutant. So that is a, a seaways or domestic garbage, etc. All organic uh, waste, including uh, some organic uh, solid waste also, which can be easily biodegradable with the help of this uh, microbes or biological agents. And the non-biodegradable pollutants, the pollutants which are not degraded by microbes are degraded at any at slow rate are known as non-biodegradable. Even the influence or even the biological microorganisms interfere, it will not be break down into the simple form are not background to the other forums so that they persist in the environment for longer duration. So that is called non-biodegradable pollutants based on the degradation. On the basis of degradation, the pollutants are categorized into two groups. One is biodegradable pollutant and non-biodegradable pollutant. So non-biodegradable like plastics, radioactive substances, pesticides, etc., which may persist for a long time, even even if the environment is favorable, so it may be it may not convert it into simple compounds that is called non-biodegradable pollutants. Then on the basis of origin, origin of in the environment. Okay, so the pollutants are classified into two group categories. On the basis of degradability, there are two groups. On the basis of origin, as classified into two groups. So primary pollutants secondary pollutant. So primary pollutants are which are directly introduced by their sources into the environment are known as primary pollutants. 
example ash fumes dust carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide hydrocarbons methane acetylene benzene so these are the pollutants which are directly enters into the source to the environment to the is called as a a primary pollutant so which are directly introduced by their source into the environment are known as primary pollutants these are based on origin and in secondary pollutant the pollutants which are formed from the chemical reactions of primary pollutants for example sulfur dioxide or carbon dioxide it combines with the other secondary or primary air pollutant so to form a secondary air pollutant so that is called a secondary secondary pollutants okay so pollutants which are formed from the chemical reaction of primary pollutant in the environment is known as secondary pollutant example nitrogen dioxides oxides of nitrogen hydrocarbons and two primary pollutants which are released from the atmosphere or from the automobiles so these pollutants react with the presence of sunlight to form a pan peroxy acetyl nitrate and ozone o3 ground level ozone is a uh, secondary air pollutant okay so two secondary air pollutants which are for more toxic than the primary air pollutant always the obtained secondary air pollutant are by the reaction of primary air pollutants to form a secondary air pollutants which are more toxic than the primary air pollutant for example acid rain it is a secondary air pollutant so how this acid sulfur dioxide with the water to form a uh, h2so4 that is h2so4 is a secondary air pollutant that uh, more toxic than the primary air pollutants and on the basis of existence on the basis of existence in the nature are these pollutants are divided into two categories so there is a quant quantitative pollutants qualitative pollutant on the basis of existence so these pollutants do not exist in nature but they act as a pollutant when their concentration or quality increases up to a critical level in the atmosphere up to a critical level in the atmosphere that is quantitative quantitative pollutants okay so these pollutants do not exist in nature but they act as a pollutant when their concentration or quantity increases up to the critical level in the atmosphere it is a qualitative pollutant the qualitative these pollutants those pollutants do not exist in the environment they are introduced into the environment through man's activity introduced into the environment through man's activity pesticides or chemical fertilizers or herbicides okay so based on origin there are two pollutants that is primary air pollutant and secondary pollutant so based on the biodegradability the biodegradability nature but is biodegradable pollutant non biodegradable so based on the basis of existence that is qualitative quantitative pollutants okay then so why this oh, industrial pollution what is this industrial pollution okay so like this see by showing the incidents happened in the previous time and by telling the the pollution and also categories of classification of pollutants how it is the industrial pollution you are correlating so industrial pollution what is industrial pollution so with the coming up of industrial revolution nowadays uh, see the 40 to 50 percent contribution the uh, economic development and also this uh, pollution from industries okay so as per the statistics 40 to 50 percent of the pollution what we are uh, observing in terms of uh, this water air or soil or our natural resources uh, deteriorating because the development of this industrial uh, uh, sector and mismanagement of this uh, effluents and uh, lack of proper uh, policies and uh, lack of management in the pollution control boards and uh, uh, central pollution control board okay so with the coming up of the industrial revolution humans are able to advance further into the 21st century the technology developed rapidly 
and also developing rapidly the science became more advanced the manufacturing age came into view with all this came one more effect that is industrial pollution so earlier the industries were small factories so that produced smoke as a primary pollutant so earlier the industries are the small factories that produced a smoke as a primary pollutant but however since the number of factories were limited and worked only certain number of hours earlier the levels of pollution did not grow that significant level but when these factors when these factories became full scale industries and manufacturing units the issue of industrial pollution started to take on more importance so because of this industrial revolution in 21st century the development of technology rapidly still developing also and science has become more advanced the manufacturing is that is the age of manufacturing came into view with all these more one more effect that is industrial pollution nowadays is concentrating and earlier industries were small factories and produce a small smoke that is a pollutant and however since the number of factories were limited and worked only few hours the levels of pollution not that much grow significantly but when these factories became fully scale industry and manufacturing unit the issues of industrial pollution started to take on more importance see one quote word the although report says the quoting that we abuse land because we regard we regard it as commodity belong to us when we see land as a community to which we belong we may begin to use it with love and respect okay said by aldo leopold so any form of pollution that can trace its immediate source to industrial practices known as industrial pollution with industrial pollution so any form of pollution that can trace its immediate source to industrial practice is known as industrial pollution so most of the pollution on the planet can be traced can be traced back to industries of some kind in fact the issues of industrial pollution has taken on grave importance for agencies trying to fight against environmental degradation that the issues of industrial pollution has taken on a grave importance for agencies trying to fight against environmental degradation the countries facing sudden and rapid growth of such industries are finding it to be a serious problem that has to brought under the control immediately okay so now the 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 pollution from industries the countries facing sudden and rapid growth of this such industries are finding it to be a serious problem that has to be brought under the control immediately so industrial pollution takes on many faces it contaminates several sources of drinking water and releases unwanted toxins into the air and reduces the quality of the soil over the world okay so the major environmental disasters have been caused due to industrial mishaps that i said in the beginning so major environmental disasters have been caused due to industrial mishaps which have had to be brought under the control which have had to be brought under the control the below are a few of these causes industrial pollution that have resulted in environmental degradation so some points are mentioned okay so major environmental disasters because of the industrial mishaps which have had to be brought under the control so below few of the causes of industrial pollution that have been resulted in environmental degradation okay so what are the facts of that so industrial pollution facts industrial pollution is working havoc on the heart 
every nation is affected and there are people who are working tirelessly restlessly to increase awareness and advocate for the change advocate for the change so the activities causing the pollution include burning of coal burning of fossil fuels like oil natural gases and petroleum chemical solvents used for dyeing industries or tanning industries or textile industries or leather industries they are using lot of dyes variety the, the diversity of dyes they are using in the chemicals as a chemical solvents used as a dyeing and uh, tanning industry so untreated uh, gas or liquid waste being released into the environment so when this urban urbanization is high when the urban uh, environment or urban population so releasing the liquid waste or sewage waste are being released into the environment in a large scale then improper disposal of radioactive materials okay so then what are the causes of this industrial uh, pollution what are major uh, causes for this industrial uh, uh, pollution okay so one is the cause is lack of policies to control pollution particularly the industrial one. okay so lack of effective policies and poor enforcement drive allowed many industries to bypass laws remember bypass laws made by the pollution control boards so many industries running the lack of effective policies and the poor enforcement drive allowed many industries to bypass laws made by pollution control boards which resulted a mass scale pollution that affected uh, the lives of many people okay so there is a rules there is a pollution control board strictly prescribing or every 6 months they need to take a noc no objection a certificate to run that industry okay or every year they they have to submit this annual report uh, how they are managing uh, their industry how they are minimizing uh, the emissions into the atmosphere so that they should, uh, is a mandatory so even then many industries run by many uh, the people okay they bypass the laws made by the pollution control boards which results in mass scale pollution that affected the lives of many people okay then unplanned industrial growth the most in, in most industrial townships most industrial townships unplanned growth took place wherein those companies altered rules and norms and uh, polluted environment with both air and water and also the soil okay so unplanned industrial growth as a major the cause for increasing this pollution in the soil or air and water then so that is uh, use of outdated technologies still the practicing use of outdated because of this reason so most industries still rely on old technologies most industries still rely on old old technologies to produce the products that generate a large amount of waste to avoid high cost and expenditure many companies still make use of traditional technologies to produce high end products because you know that how this products uh, you the need uh, raw material for the production of a material the same way is a, the controlling this air pollution aspects is a more expensive with respect to effluent treatment or with respect to uh, applying the uh, the the emission controls control devices or even uh, the soil pollution uh, control devices so the is a more more cost effective so because of that some industries most of the industries still rely on old technologies to produce their products to generate large amount of uh, waste so that is why so when they are not uh, ready to apply the environmental aspects into the uh, the treatment facilities or into the emission control uh, facilities so they avoid high cost and also the expenditure many companies still make use of this traditional technologies to produce uh, high end products the presence of large number of small scale industries so many small scale industries and factories they don't have even a capital and rely on government grants to run their day to day businesses often escape environmental regulations 
and release the large number of toxic uh, gases into the atmosphere okay so presence of large scale of large number of uh, so, uh, small scale industries practicing this uh, uh, this uh, this type to reduce the uh, the cost of burden to uh, uh, the controlling uh, facilities then inefficient waste disposal water pollution soil pollution are often caused directly due to the inefficiency of disposal of waste the long term exposure to pollute polluted uh, air and water causes uh, chronic health problems so making the issue of industrial pollution into severe one so it also lowers the air quality in surrounding areas and which causes many respiratory disorders so inefficient disposal waste disposal practices so these these are the causes of the lower the air quality in the, in the surrounding areas and cause many respiratory risk or disorders okay so then leaching of resources from our natural world leaching of resources from our natural world so that is industries do require industries do require a large amount of raw material to make them into finished products to make them into finished pro products this requires the extraction of minerals from uh, beneath the earth and extracted minerals can cause uh, soil pollution so when spilled on the earth okay so leaks from uh, leak leaks from vessels uh, can cause uh, uh, oil spills that may pro prove the harmful to marine life so industries to require a large amount of raw materials to make the make them into the finished products so this require extraction of minerals from beneath the earth the extracted minerals can cause uh, soil pollution when spilled on the earth it leaks from vessels and can cause the soil spills that may prove harmful to the marine life then the natural resource uh, use so raw materials is the is a must for industries so which often requires them even pulling out the underground elements so one of the most common forms of leaching from uh, natural resources fracking uh, for oil so when the industries ex extract mineral the process causes soil pollution and also causes oil leaks leaks and spills that are harmful and even dead deadly to people and uh, uh, animals okay so this these are the major causes because of this industries of for uh, 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 on this natural uh, resources then the effects of industrial pollution on our uh, environment so mainly there are three sources our natural resources one is water another is air and the soil these are the natural resources which we have to protect and which we are de deteriorating okay so wherever you go there is a water but it is unfit to drink so wherever you see there is a lack of the soil uh, there is a unfit to fertilize it lost the fertility of the soil okay so effects of this industrial pollution on our environment there is water will say see the water pollution so the effects of this industrial pollution are far reaching and uh, liable to the effect of ecosystem for many years to come so most industries require large amounts of water for their uh, work for their process so wherever you go the where the water resources there there is a industries so they need lot of water for processing or for manufacturing or for treating it okay so when the most industries require large amount of water for their work when involved in a series of process so the water comes into contact with the heavy heavy metals harmful chemicals radioactive waste and even the organic starch so there are these are the these are either dumped into the ocean or river as a result of many many of our water resources have high amount of 
industrial wages so our uh, what so you see the analysis of the water so there is a or it may be metal pollution or it may be unfit for drinking or it may be more hard water or it may be the other uh, uh, parameters more than exceeds the limits or uh, exceeds the iso limits okay so this the the same water is the, the is then used for farmers for irrigate, irrigation purpose so which affects the quality of food that that is produced then in soil pollution so soil pollution is creating a problems in agriculture and uh, destroying the local vegetation it also causes uh, chronic health issues it also causes chronic uh, health issues to uh, to the people that come in contact with the uh, such soil on daily basis okay and likewise this air pollution air pollution has uh, led to steep the increase in various uh, illness and it continues to affect us on a daily basis so with so many small and uh, mid and also the large scale industries coming up the air pollution has taken to a toll of the health and the people and the environment so because all these industries where the industries location so that there are three pollution it may you may expect the three uh, three ways of pollution from industry one is the emissions air emissions it leads the quality changes the quality of air and the effluents released for the processing the releasing effluents it also accumulates into the uh, the soil it percolates into the water system and uh, it leads the undesirable changes a character of physical and chemical and biological changes in the uh, water system okay so that then the wild uh, life extinctions by by and large the issues of industrial pollution by and large the issues of industrial pollution shows as that it causes natural rhythms and patterns of patterns to fail so meaning that the wildlife is getting affected in a severe manner so habitats are being lost and the species are being becoming a extinct and it is a harder harder for the environment to recover for each industrial disaster each natural disaster okay then in the with respect to the air pollution the air air pollution is the is the introduction into the atmosphere of chemicals particulate matter or biological materials so that spreads very fast and uh, spreads in the air that causes uh, many skin related uh, diseases and also uh, the respiratory risk so some of the most important uh, air pollutant or the sulfur dioxide oxides of nitrogen carbon monoxide ozone ground level ozone volatile organic uh, compounds and the airborne particles so with uh, many radioactive pollutants probably among the most destructive ones so that when produced by nuclear explosions so due to increase in the volume of these gases in the atmosphere so so at least it's 70 to 70% of nitrogen uh, 20% oxygen and 0.03% carbon dioxide and there are trace amounts of these other gases but this the, the concentrations of other gases dominating in the urban and also the emission areas so that may deteriorate the quality of the air which we breathe so due to increase in the volume of these gases in the atmosphere the ozone layer is depleting because of which the ultraviolet rays of sun or reaching as and causing damage to our skin and also eyes and other uh, organs okay then the major causes of this uh, air pollutants emitted from uh, this industry so causes and effects the automobiles and domestic uh, fuels with a major uh, source of causes smoke from industrial chimneys automobile exhaust are the major one and burning of fossil fuels and forest fire and household combustion devices so these are the major causes contributing the air pollutants are 
mixing into the quality of the air, which leads many effects on the animal life and plant life and also the quality of the air. So discomfort disease on the death of human and animals, damage other living organisms such as food crops, and damage the natural environment, ecosystem, natural uh, uh, water, natural air ecosystem. Then when it we'll comes to the, the water pollution, so is the product introduction of the chemical and biological and physical matter into the large uh, uh, bodies of water, lakes, rivers, and oceans, and aquifers, and uh, the groundwater that degrade the quality of life that lives in it and also consumes it. So water pollution occurs when the pollutants discharge directly or indirectly into the water bodies without adequate treatment or without removal of the harmful compounds. Without the proper uh, treatment of this effluent, industrial effluent, with the discharge directly into the uh, water system, so that may cause this uh, uh, water pollution. So water pollution affects the plants, uh, organisms living in these bodies, water bodies, of the almost all cases of the effect of is damaging not only by individual to individual species and the populations, but also to the natural uh, biological communities. The water pollutants, inland detergents, chloroform, food processing waste from food processing industries, insecticides and herbicides from uh, fertilizer industries or pesticides industries, and uh, petroleum uh, hydrocarbons, that is gasoline diesel uh, fuels, uh, fuel uh, industries, and uh, lubricants, motor oil. So, so these are all directly or indirectly responsible for polluting the quality of water or, or releasing it to the water system. The causes from this water pollution, so they cause us the effluent outfalls from factories, refineries, the waste treatment plants, etc., that emit that uh, emit fluids of varying quality directly into the water body. So in villages, the people have uh, both the river, they wash their cloths and the utensils there, and the cities, the people throw food uh, wrappers and uh, other wastes in the water bodies. Okay, so from this. So this, from these causes, so it may affect the, uh, disturb the ecosystem, water ecosystem, which lost the lot of aquatic life. And uh, it's a place for uh, spreading lot of uh, diseases from uh, water uh, pollution. The, uh, the effluents released into the water. There are some specific uh, effects of water pollution. Okay. So water bodies like uh, lakes, river are polluted with results in the death of marine animals, death of marine uh, animals like fishes, turtles, whales, and dolphins. And oil spills not only harm marine environment animals, but they also affect the precipitation rate. If the polluted water is consumed by humans, so then waterborne diseases like typhoid, cholera, and dysentery may then when these pesticides, when the pesticides after the surface runoff reaches to the lakes, they lead to growth of algae, algal blooms, which after sometimes it covers the whole lake and due to the lack of oxygen uh, to animals which may lead to death. So the water blooms, algal blooms, so that may depletes the oxygen level in the aquatic animals, which may lead to the uh, uh, day of the aquatic animals. Then in soil, so, so the industrial effluent which impact on uh, the soil pollution. So soil pollution is caused by the presence of xenobiotic uh, or man-made chemicals or other alterations in the natural soil environment. Okay. So typically, uh, it is typically caused by industrial activities agrochemical industries and improper disposal of this waste, industrial waste into the ecosystems, into the marine ecosystem or freshwater ecosystem or 
the land ecosystem so it may depletes the quality of uh, the soil in the uh, in and around the area so soil contaminating the chemicals mainly petroleum hydrocarbons uh, polynuclear hy aromatic hydrocarbons pesticides lead and other heavy metals you know all these heavy metals are uh, bio accumulating in nature all these heavy metals are bio accumulation there is no it, it persist for uh, long time and also is, there is no any other uh, uh, deterioration so that may be persist in the target uh, the organs or the uh, organ affinity towards the uh, the uh, organs to bind in a long time into the animal system okay so the causes the corrosion of underground uh, Uh, storage tanks application of pesticides and fertilizers then uh, mining and oil and fuel dumping disposal of coal ash leaching from uh, landfills discharge of industrial waste into the soil and uh, drainage of contaminated surface water into the soil the main effects reduce the fertility of the soil so which deteriorate the quality of the fertility of the soil so that may be which where is the uh, the biota into the soil and which lead it is a it becomes a unfertile soil for any crops so pollute the ground water and uh, floor the odor and death of living uh, things in the soil habitat or uh, soil environment because of this uh, uh, the the effluent other some specific uh, soil uh, effects of the soil pollution the waste from landfill leaches into and causes contaminates the groundwater certain animals eat waste like pesticides uh, plastic bags and uh, it may it, it cannot digest and it it leads to damage to the digestive system then it leads to the uh, ultimate the death of the animal and it emits a foul odor and becomes a breeding ground for the mosquitoes so when uh, this uh, uh, dumping of this waste in the open areas on the soil area so it under uh, the foul odor and becomes breeding ground for the mosquitoes then the waste on landfill reduces the fertility of the soil then pesticides benzene and chromium and weed killers spread on the field which are carcinogens there mainly on carcinogens which have been established to lead to all kinds of cancer okay so long term benzene exposure is responsible for uh, irregular uh, menstrual cycles in women and leptomia and also leads to anemia that is anemia means uh, less production of uh, rbc cells in the blood system likewise from the industry you may expect this noise pollution also so noise pollution is uh, mainly from uh, emissions and transportation system motor vehicles aircraft and the trains and poor urban planning so noise pollution is, is uh, displacing or excessive noise that may disturb the activity and balance of the human and animal life so noise means uh, disgust and discomfort uh, uh, hearing from environment mainly from uh, uh, industrial location you may expect uh, the large uh, amount of a uh, large volume of the more more than 90 decibel voice uh, in the industrial area sources so the specific effects from noise pollution from uh, industries or uh, the sound vehicles or transportation so noise pollution affects the both uh, health and behavior behavior of the animals the so noise pollution can cause annoyance the noise pollution can also cause the aggression okay so noise pollution it leads hypertension and high level stress and you may loss uh, temporary loss or a permanent uh, loss if continuously uh, hearing the more than uh, 60 80 90 decibels uh, the person who is uh, residing or working in the factory and the person in and around the factories if you continuously uh, hearing more than 90 decibels every day so that may trigger to the temporary loss of the memory and uh, 
uh, and also the permanent loss. Okay. But then it, it also triggers the uh, BP and uh, sleeping disturbance and other harmful effects from noise pollution. So like this. Now, now when the city areas, <coughs> when the urban metropolitan cities, you may see during the night time a lot of uh, glaring of light, light pollution. Okay, in the industrial sector or in the urban sector. So you may see like this during night, uh, it may be a lot of uh, light, uh, uh, glittering lights. So that leads to the eye problem and also the other uh, physiological and uh, uh, biological stress you may expect because of this uh, light pollution. So light pollution is also known as a photo pollution or uh, luminous pollution. It is excessive and uh, misdirected and obstructive artificial light. So pollution is adding or added light itself. It's an analogy to add a sound, carbon dioxide, etc. So light pollution is causes a degradation of photo habitat by artificial light. Alteration of natural uh, uh, light levels in the outdoor environment. And due to indoor light pollution, so he human health uh, is compromised. So how this other uh, pollution, the, may also this, uh, may expect this radioactive uh, pollution from the uh, radioactive emissions, radioactive industries or radioactive uh, <coughs> So this, the radioactive pollution caused by the resultant uh, substances from nuclear reactors and other radioactive substances in a very high uh, radiation exposure. So that may cause uh, nuclear plant uh, weapons or disposal of nuclear waste uh, without uh, proper uh, precautions and uranium mining which uh, maybe affects, uh, expect the cancer and also the bones and uh, high problems because of this. Uh, you know, the radiation uh, is uh, more dangerous than uh, other uh, pollutions that may lead to a permanent uh, problem in the so The major industrial oxidants like uh, spills and uh, fires and leakage of radioactive materials and uh, damage the property are harder to the clean up as they have higher impact on chat. Yes. Then in a, a global warming. So because of all these uh, uh, incidents or pollution problems, so that may be uh, responsible for uh, directly or indirectly uh, this uh, global warming nowadays. So, so with the rise of this industrial pollution, the rise, of, rise in industrial uh, pollution, global warming has been increasing at a steady stage. The smoke and the greenhouse uh, gases are being released by industries into the air. So it caused an increasing in global warming. Because of this, the melting of uh, glaciers, extinction of polar bears, a flood, you may expect flood, and uh, tsunamis, hurricanes um, are the few of the effects of by this global warming. So with the rise of industrial pollution, that is 40 to 50% uh, from this source, this industrial source. So it may be uh, main reason for the global reason has been uh, global warming has been increasing. And uh, the greenhouse gases contributing a lot of uh, heat related by the industry. It cause Increasing the global warming. Because of this, you may see the melting of glaciers and uh, extinction of uh, polar bears, uh, then the floods, tsunami, and uh, hurricanes. Then the biodiversity loss. So this the industry because this industrial pollution continues to cause significant damage to the earth and all of its uh, inhabitants due to the chemical waste or pesticides, radioactive materials impact. So all affects wildlife and ecosystems and disrupt the natural habitat. 
and animals are becoming extinct and the habitats are being destroyed so we are, not, we, we are observing a lot of habitat loss a lot of animal animal extinct and animals becoming uh, extinct uh, in that uh, uh, biodiversity loss so increasing liquid solid and hazardous waste uh, undermine the ecosystem health and impact on food water and health security so industrial pollution disasters including oil spills radioactive leakage take years to uh, years to decades to clean up or to bring a, a normal uh, a natural uh, quality environment or a sustainable development uh, the future then the atmospheric <laughs> The cadmium enrichment of fire can also. Yes, sir. Our time is over. We have to finish by 5 p.m. Okay, you have to be finished by 5 p.m. Only two minutes is there, no? Okay. The cadmium enrichment of soil can also be associated with industrial pollution. Crop soil contaminated by mine uh, spoil uh, showed a wide range of cadmium concentrations. So industrial effluents. are commonly discharged to surface water drainage system so after uh, the uh, clarification of uh, in tailing plants so recent investigations have di disclosed so very high concentration of cadmium uh, over the bank and bo bottom sediments in most of the rivers the identifier analyzed so uh, because of this the sea level uh, consequences the global warming uh, the sea level rise beach erosion and uh, the coastal wetland loss loss of low lying uh, territories and uh, the water resource changes the precipitation pattern may, may shift and increase the incidence of heavy precipitation and uh, new burdens on water capture storage a distribution system to be expected and effects on agriculture so that may be changes in the length of growing season and growth of undesirable plant uh, species and uh, it may affect the quality the ozone uh, increase in the ozone in urban areas and widespread forest fires and impacts on human health changes in pattern and sickness and uh, biodiversity and changes in the pattern of current uh, thank you thank you So we request you to provide the soft copy of your PP, PPT. Yeah, definitely, definitely, we'll provide. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Very. Much. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice session, sir. Thank you. I. I uh, thank you, Manodar. Sir. Yes. And good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. On behalf of all participants. On behalf of all participants and uh, behalf of uh, HRDC Mysore, I am very thankful to you, sir. Thank you. You you give a very good uh, talk to us, and we learned so much of uh, regarding the pollutants and other hazardous materials. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for your good uh, talk, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll give these slides also for. Yeah. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay. So shall we end up the meeting? Yeah. 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 I think. Uh, Suresh. Thank you. Thank you, Anna.